Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a rational complex expression. We have 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i and we're going to raise it to the power 400. Such a large number, right? Okay, great. I'll be presenting more than one method, probably at least two. And by the way, on my other channel, Cyber Math, kind of cross-promoting two channels, I made a video which uses complex numbers with the third method. So go ahead and take a look if you haven't done so and let me know what you think. Anyways, so let's start with the first method. To solve this problem, I'm going to consider the numerator and the denominator separately. So I'm going to raise this 1 plus i to the 400th power and 1 minus i to the 400th power. Now obviously, you don't want to use, is that obvious? You don't want to use the binomial theorem, Would, I mean, do you? You're going to get 401 terms. I mean, you can do that, but that's going to take forever. Even if you put it on, de I was going to say Desmos, but I don't think Desmos does it. Wolfram Alpha does, right? WA. It's going to be super long, and I don't think you're going to get the whole thing. If, anyways, you can just plug in the whole thing to Wolfram Alpha. It's going to give you an answer, and I think I did it, and I'll share with you. But anyways, it's going to be too long. Super painful. Yeah, I know some methods are more painful than others, but I don't think we want to go that far. So here's what I'm going to do instead. 1 plus i and 1 minus r are, spe are special numbers because if you square 1 plus i, you get 1 plus 2i plus i squared. Notice that i squared is equal to negative 1, so these two cancel out, leaving us with 2i. So 1 plus i squared is an imaginary number. Can you imagine? <laughs> you can't because it's imaginary. Well, actually you can because it's imaginary, right? Anyways, you get the idea. 1 minus i squared on the other hand by the same token, it's going to be negative 2i. Awesome. Now, what does this mean? It means that to raise any one of these to the power 400, you can first square it and then raise it to another power, which is going to make things a lot easier. Don't you think? So here's what we're going to do. Take 1 plus i to the power 400, divide it by 1 minus i to the power 400, and now write this as 1 plus i squared and 1 minus i squared. I'm not done yet, okay? And then raise this to the power 200 and raise this to the power 200. Because when you multiply the exponents, it'll work out, right? Now 1 plus i squared, from here we know that it's equal to 2i. So if you're dealing with complex numbers for any reason, you should know these because these numbers come up all the time. And there's a way to explain this using polar form too, which might be one of the methods, I don't know. We'll see how much time we have left. Anyways, this is 2i to the power 200, and this is negative 2i to the power 200. At this point, you have different choices, right? You have a lot of choices. Isn't that good? You can just put these together because they have the same exponent. So kind of write it like this, right? And then put a giant common exponent, like a 200, and then simplify inside and then raise it to the power 200, right? That's one of the options. Let's do it. 2 cancels out. I cancels out and I end up with negative 1. And this is negative 1 to the power 200, uh, which is obviously positive 1 because 200 is even, right? Cool. That's kind of easy, right? Or an alternative method would be take this, right? I want to show you different alternatives so that people can, you know, follow whatever they like. So I can kind of raise it to the power like this 2 to the power 200 times i to the power 200 divided by negative 2 to the power 200 times i to the power 200. And guess what? These two are the same because, again, 200 is even, and these two are the same. Everything cancels out. We end up with 1. So depending on what you like, you know, uh, which is your favorite method, please let us know in the comment section, obviously. And now, what are we going to do? Okay, is this the first method still? Okay, great. This is the first method, so I can go either way, right? Obviously. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, all right? Because I think the second method you'll probably like uh, better, but I could be wrong. So, we have 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i, and all of that is raised to the power 400. Now, instead of dealing with these two things separately, why not simplify inside and then raise the result, whatever that is, to the power 400, right? That could be a good thing. Now, how do you simplify this? Let's go ahead and focus on 
simplifying this expression, we're going to use the conjugates 1 plus i and 1 plus i. In other words, we're multiplying by 1, but this is going to get rid of the i. So in the numerator, we're going to get 1 plus i squared again. You've seen it, right? And at the bottom, we get, remember, when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, like a plus bi and a minus bi, right? That's the name of the channel, isn't it? You get a squared plus b squared. So you always get a real number, but you also get something called sum of two squares. So 1 plus 1, which is 2. Awesome. The top is 2i, you know that, right? And the bottom is 2, now 2's cancel out, leaving us with i. So, kind of hard to believe, but 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i is equal to i. You can verify this, because if you multiply 1 minus i by i, you get i minus i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so negative i squared is positive 1, so this becomes i plus 1, or 1 plus i. You could also manipulate this, and we've done a similar problem just recently, remember? Okay, great. The one with the cosine sign, look it up. Now, this gave us i, but that's only the inside. So the inside is i. What am I supposed to do with this? Just take i. My eraser is so small. Let's make it bigger. Now, we have the i to the power 400. Uh-oh. Do I know this? Of course you should. One of the things that you study first if you're doing complex numbers should be powers of i. Probably the first class, right? What is powers of i? i to the first is i, right? It's like, I have to think about it. i squared is negative 1. i to the third is negative i because it's i squared times i. And i to the fourth is i squared squared, which is 1. Great. So this is kind of mod 4. Any power of i that is divisible by 4 is going to give us 1 because of this reason, right? i to the fourth is 1, so the answer is 1. Again, second time, second approach, the, the solution or the answer is the same. Let's go ahead and quickly look at uh, the third method, shall we? Okay, real quick. All right. So we have this number and that number and being divided. Okay, so one thing I can do here is use the polar forms. This number can be written as root 2 times e to the power i times pi over 4. Why? Because think about it, we've just done this, in, like remember I mentioned the video on my other channel, which used complex numbers because you were supposed to evaluate tangent pi over 8. So I gave you a little clue there, right? If you want to jump to the third method, that's fine too. Anyways, that's the top. The bottom is the conjugate. How do you find the conjugate of a number from polar form? You just negate the angle. Think about it. If this is r e to the i theta, this is r e to the i negative theta. Get it? Theta, negative theta. Is that easy? So it's going to look like this then. e times, I mean, root, ti root 2 times e to the power i times negative pi over 4, but I'm going to put the negative here, or I guess you can put it here too, which is going to make it more clear. Uh-oh, Mr. Euler disappeared. I'm going to write it as i times negative pi over 4, and then we're going to go ahead and subtract the arguments, because that's what you do, right? I mean, come on, these are exponentials. It's going to be e to the power i times pi over 4 minus negative pi over 4, right? And that's going to give me i times pi over 2, and that should be i. But it's just the inside, remember that. Of course, I should write the 400th power. I just made it disappear, hocus pocus. And then if you raise, and obviously are, these are not equal. I'm just looking at this. And now the result is i to the power 400, and that happens to be 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.